The first step in preparing your point shoes is prepping the ribbons. The ribbons might come in one really long piece, in which case you need to cut it into four, so you have one for each side of each shoe. Sometimes they come in two pieces, cut each one in half, and sometimes they'll come already each in a piece. Regardless of how they come, you want to burn the ends by using a lighter. If you hold it really close but not right in the edge, you'll see that it will fold up on itself and you're basically sealing the end of the ribbon so that it won't fray. The next step is you're gonna find where you're gonna sew the ribbon. If you fold it over at the back of the shoe, it'll make a triangle. And where the edge of that triangle is, is a great place to sew the shoe. You can grab a pencil and do a little pencil mark there um, so that you know where to sew it. Or you can just uh, eyeball it. It doesn't have to be too particular. That's just around the spot where you fold it, where you'll want the ribbon to be. Some ribbons are shiny on both sides. Some are not shiny on either side. And what's very common like this ribbon is you've got a shiny side and then a matte side. You want the matte on the outside because you don't want the shoes to be shiny. So you're gonna take the edge, you're gonna fold it over twice so that you've got extra strength for that pull. You're gonna place it on that spot that you marked, tilt it forward slightly as you want it to go up over the ankle. Then you're gonna grab some thread. I've already threaded my needle. I like to double, uh, double up the thread so it's nice and thick and knot it on the end. Then you're gonna start by sewing it along the top to the casing. So I like to start kind of at the bottom of the casing because there's usually a little lip here that's not sewn into the shoe quite as hard and you're just going to whip stitch it around, grab some of that casing, grab a bit of the thread. Now you wanna make sure as you sew it to the casing that you do not um, sew it to the drawstring. Now you'll be able to tell if you're stitching it into the drawstring because it's very hard to push the needle through the drawstring, but the casing material, the needle slips through very easily. You don't wanna sew it to the drawstring or you won't be able to tighten your drawstring. Once I sew it up the side, I'm going to go back and forth along the top. You want to use a nice light pink or white thread so that it doesn't show. And again, you're just doing little stitches back and forth through the casing, through the ribbon, um, all across the top, nice little stitches. Now, the reason to sew it to the casing is the casing is a lot stronger than the inside lining of the shoe. So it's really important that you sew that ribbon all the way across the top so it stays nice and strong. Once I've come across the top, again, I'm gonna switch to a little whip stitch, lots of little stitches, sewing it right into the casing. All the way down the side, you can see it's a little tilted forwards. Once I get below the casing, you'll see that most point shoes actually have two layers. So there's a satin outside and there's a canvas or another kind of material liner and you can actually pull them apart. So once you get down here, you can flip the shoe inside out to make the sewing easier. Um, and you wanna stitch it through just the casing. So these stitches can be bigger because at this point it's nice and solid attached in there and you just want to tack it down to the lining for a little extra support and so that the inside doesn't flap around. So you're just picking it through the lining so the stitches don't show on the outside. Just tacking it down. You'll notice I left a lot of thread um, at the beginning and that's so I can around to the casing all the way 
way back to where you started. I like to do a little double knot around itself and then I'll also knot it to the thread I left at the beginning to make it extra secure and then cut off the remainder. So there I've got my one ribbon. You don't see the stitches on the outside, nice and secure all the way around on the inside nicely on that spot that I marked from the triangle and slightly tilted forward so it goes up over the angle. Once the ribbons are sewn on both sides, it's time for the elastics. The ideal placement for the elastics is on either side of this piece in the back because you don't want them to come up on your Achilles tendon. So again, you can flip your shoe inside out, you can see those seams. Um, because the elastic, you want it to come up and loop around your ankle, it's going to be sewn in one loop coming from the back to the back. So again, you want to sew it a fair ways down into the shoe. Uh, if it's right near the top, you won't get as much support. So you want to sew it down into the shoe and then you want to angle it quite a bit as it's again coming up and around your ankle. As you can see, I've now sewn the elastic. Usually they give you a really long piece of elastic. I had a, one that was pre-cut and a little bit short, so normally I do it a little bit further down into the heel for a little extra support. You can see it's sewn across the top, tacked down around the sides, nice and strong in a big loop. Um, you wanna make sure you measure it on your foot because your foot is going to go through there and it'll go up and around your ankle to hold the heel on. Um, so you'll wanna sew one side and then measure it on your foot to make sure it's not too tight that it's cutting your circulation off, but it's not, it's nice and stretched, um, not too loose so that it's actually doing its job. And there you have it. Finally, how to tie your shoe, you're going to take the outside ribbon, cross it right over your ankle bone, and then bring it all the way around to the inside, so that's one and a half times. You're going to take the inside ribbon next, cross it over the top, under and around, so it's going a full two times around your ankle. You're going to double knot that, you want to make sure that the knot is between your ankle bone and your Achilles in the soft spot so that it doesn't rub or irritate anything. Then you're gonna take the ends and flatten them out underneath the ribbons that you just tied, nice and flat, and then pull that extra piece right over the knot all the way around so it looks seamless. <laughs>